Today, I have a confession to make. I'm a heterosexual female, and I like anime boobs. There, I said it. There's just something about their unrealistic, gravity-defying jiggliness that makes them entertaining to watch. It may be hard for some of you guys who are like, no, they're too big and unrealistic and it justifies woman and it's too disgusting and watch and yada yada to understand the appeal I find in them, but I will try to explain that in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy looking at pictures and video clips of big anime boobs while I try to express my viewpoint. My absolute favorite thing about anime boobs is the ridiculous boob physics. So what do I mean by boob physics, you may ask? It's easier to explain by giving some examples. Let's say we have an anime character with big boobs running for whatever reason. We see her boobs fly in the air at incredible angles in time with her leg movements. As another example, we may have an anime girl stand outside on a windy day and her boobs flail around accordingly like they're made of lightweight material or something. Or perhaps sneezing is enough to send her boots flying from her chest. These are all examples of anime boot physics. What's great about them is that we know this is not how things happen in real life, so it's fascinating to see how they behave in this fictional world. I like seeing how a slight movement that would not even cause a notable change in boot position in a brawless girl in real life somehow sends anime boobs into a frenzy. The boobs, in a sense, seem to have a mind of their own, and I like seeing what they decide to do next. To top it off, just the sight of them bouncing around is fun to look at. And while we're talking about physics, let's not forget one of the most basic physical concepts, gravity. It generally fascinates me how anime boobs can remain perky even when they are the size of beach balls. In real life, unless you get a boob job that leaves you with stiff, porn-esque tits, boobs start to droop after reaching a certain size because of our good old friend gravity. It's hard to imagine if this wasn't the case since boobs are basically masses of fat and thus get heavier as they get bigger. So having to carry that much weight that high on your chest despite the forces of gravity is incredible. On top of that, being a female, I know how painful doing something like jumping without a bra can be. When you're coming down, you feel all the weight of your boobs tugged down at once, which can be quite painful when your boobs are huge. However, these anime girls can have them jiggle around and make it look appealing. That's why every time I see such movements, I can't help but feel mesmerized, wondering how they put it off and still manage to look sexy doing it. It always makes me go, oh, I wish my boobs could do that, with a sense of awe ah, and slight jealousy. Another thing I like about anime boobs is that oftentimes, they're just aesthetically pleasing. Anime art style is already exaggerated with characters having big eyes, big heads, or other strangely proportioned body parts. So the larger than life boobs simply adds to the overall feel of the art form. Another thing I feel like big boobs and possibly even other exaggerated features do, not only in anime but in cartoons in general, is help bring out a character's features. For example, if a cartoonist wants a character's curviness to be one of their main features, then giving the character wide hips, a thin waist, and a large bosom makes sense. Exaggerating them a bit helps in making sure that these features are apparent, especially when compared to other characters. And for anyone complaining that it's not realistic, there are exceptions, but cartoons and animes are often not designed to be realistic. Look at the way the characters move and their facial expressions. These can be over the top and obviously do not occur in real life, but it makes it easy to see how the character is feeling in that moment. The same can be said for boobs, I believe. This leads me into the last reason why I like anime boobs. So as I said before, anime characters' movements and facial expressions can be over the top. For me, this can become so ridiculous that it becomes funny. For example, let's take that well-known boom billet scene from High School of the Dead. For me, I can't even get angry at this scene and be like, Oh no, that's not how boobs work, this is too much. The only thing I could do was laugh. 
because I know it's ridiculous and the creators know it's ridiculous and hopefully even the horny preteens watching the show realize how ridiculous the scene looks. Or right, let's go back to one of the theoretical scenes I described before where the character sneezes and her boobs go flying everywhere accordingly. Seeing this type of stuff makes the scene 10 times funnier for me and makes me appreciate the boobs for their comedic purposes. Now with all that being said, I'm not saying that there's no legitimacy to some people's disdain for anime boobs. There are times when I feel like there's so many boobs being flung at me at once that it becomes distracting and unappealing. Or when characters are made to be annoying and bimbo-like, the big boobs just add insult to injury. But for the most part, I feel like a little boobitch can bring some fun and visual appeal to anime. So hopefully for all you boob haters, you have a better idea of why anime boobs can be appealing, even if you don't agree. And for you guys who already like anime boobs and clicked because of the title or thumbnail, did you agree with the stuff I said here? Was there something I missed? Leave your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about anime boobs. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing for videos on more anime and nerd related topics like this one.